afternoon. Um, thought I'd do another video. Um, yeah, because obviously like everyone else, it's all change, all systems change, but I'm out. Apparently you're allowed out with your kids for some exercise once a day, so I'm out and about. And see, we're out. Kids are out there, stunning out here. But yeah, there's um, something I've been wanting to talk about since this whole virus kicked off. It's a subject that's um, not talked about much for obvious reasons. But it's one that needs to be talked about. And the subject is death. And um, as Christians, we, we do have peace of heart and peace of mind. Because we know that this life is is like a a vapor it says in the psalms this, this life's like a breath and it's important the, the thing this this virus does it it brings in and, and makes you realize and think about what is important what is actually important and um, this life is very very short even if you live to a hundred years it's still short in the in the sense of, of thinking about eternity and maybe you're watching this and thinking well never really thought about what happens after I die or not really thought about eternity but in the Bible um, it, Jesus talks about how he's beaten the powers of death so when he died and rose again he beat the powers of death so that is why the Christian has peace of heart because we know that, that death is not the end and we know that when when we ask Jesus you know to forgive our sins and to come part of our lives we get that peace of heart and mind so I uh, hope this little uh, video has been encouraging in some way but also I, I urge you to think about things that, that are eternal because however beautiful this life is the next life we're guaranteed it's going to be even more incredible um, when we have Jesus with us. Cheers.